let's dig into the next bit of this. We want to talk a little bit about Project xCloud. And Catherine, I'm going to bring this next question to you. Would you mind talking us through the approach of Microsoft bringing Project xCloud to market? And, and before you jump in, I actually am going to get everybody follow me. Follow me on the camera. This is going to be fun. We're doing this in real time. I have a server blade over here from Project xCloud that I also was so excited when I heard this was going to be here. This is an actual Project X Cloud server blade that is in the footprints of Azure at the global data center level. And it is so cool to take a look at the guts of this thing because, wow, like the tech that went into this, the making of this is, is unbelievably impressive. Catherine, back to the question. Walk us through Microsoft's approach in bringing X Cloud to market. Yeah, no, absolutely. Brian, when you just took off there, I had no idea where you were going. <laughs> I was just like, well, where, where's he going now? But you're seeing our blade. And I mean, it is so cool. And it is, you know, Rachel said it earlier, our products are testament to the amazing teams that build them. And, you know, looking at this, I just couldn't be more proud. So, so going back to what we believe the journey is, we, we think um, we are at the very beginning of a multi-year journey with, um, with streaming. You know, there is much more we don't know about streaming than we do know right now. And that's exactly why we came to market with our preview plan, where we, where you'll remember, and it seems like an age ago now, but we started last October with just four games in preview. And since then, we've expanded countries. We have more than 90 games. We've gone just from Android. We have test um, an iOS test flight running. And as we talked about before, we will also be bringing this to window Windows 10 PCs. This really is about a journey of us learning together with the developer community. And to see the passion with which developers have leaned into this with us and the learnings that we're doing together has just been mind blowing. It just makes me so proud to be a part of this team. That's awesome. And, and you mentioned just a moment ago the, the response from some of the game development community. Can you share a little bit about like, how has it been working with game developers? What have they been, what have they been saying in, in building for Project xCloud? Yeah, no, um, absolutely. You know what? I'm, I'm reminded actually back to a, uh, a story. We, we spent a lot of time obviously talking with developers before we launched into preview. And every time we would go to a meeting with a developer, we would take their game running on a mobile phone and hand it to them to play. And at that point, there was always silence in the room. And we kind of would look around the room and think, well, what's going on? And every and then it, the partner would start sort of looking around the room and you know talking to the, talking to their teams and saying, well, who worked on this? And it was very clear that no one had worked on it because actually, when you build for Xbox, you build for X Cloud. And what we had done is just made the game work automatically for them, really, and got it up and running pretty much in a matter of minutes. And that first stage, which we call lift and shift, literally taking a game that you've built for Xbox and putting it in the cloud, literally blew the developers away. Um, so, so that's been absolutely fascinating. And then we've just learned you know, so much about how gamers are using streaming. And basically, you know, we're seeing gamers play more across the board, which has been fascinating for developers. You know, they're not just playing more on xCloud, they're also playing more on Xbox and PC. And specifically, we're learning about different sort of genre types um, and what gamers who stream their games are enjoying perhaps more than others. So it really is a journey of us learning together. But we also are aware that there are some developers who, who want to be doing more to optimize their games for the cloud. And in those circumstances, we really talk about it as cloud aware. This is the work we're doing around touch controls to support native interaction, or some of the APIs that we're developing that provide device side characteristics so that developers can optimize for the much smaller screen size. So as you can see, it's literally this, this symbiotic journey that we're on with our developers um, to really, you know, begin to optimize this experience. Mm. You know, when I when I talk to my team, I, I really talk about, you know, the speed of our learning cycles. Whenever you're bringing a new technology to market, it's all about learning. And the faster we learn, the better we're going to optimize this product. So so that's absolutely the journey that we're on. Oh, so good. I always remember when I'm sitting in rooms with you, like the, one of the things you say is we always have to keep learning. We always have to keep improving. I feel like that's really an ethos that you've helped bring that along with the team, which is just so good.